Bonjour, mes amis. Today we're gonna take you guys to the best sandwich place in Paris. Let's go! Hi everyone, welcome back to another Paris vlog. I really want to check out the farmer's market in Paris and this is the closest that I can find. I'm usually not a fan of seafood, but look how fresh the seafood here are. He has a special faucet dedicated to cleaning the fish, which I find super cool. Looks so sanitary. Okay, back to the main event. I'm taking you guys to the most popular sandwich place in Paris. This place is all over the internet and you can see how hyped it is by the amount of people outside. For protein, they have prosciutto and another type of ham. You get to customize your vegetables, which are onions, tomatoes, avocado, and a few more. And to complete your sandwich, you gotta add a few slices of cheese. We were so excited, so we ordered four sandwiches, which is a lot. Two things that make a good sandwich are the quality of the ingredients and the combination of the flavors. I like the bread a lot. It's toasty, airy, and light. However, I think they could do a better job at recommending what types of protein go well with what types of vegetables. What's special about this sandwich is that it doesn't require any sauce. It's all about the combination of different ingredients, the saltiness of the cheese and prosciutto, the fresh and crunchy tomato and lettuce, and the sweetness of caramelized onion. The sandwich filled us up, but we got lost at the paradise of pastries and cakes. Look how beautiful they are. And as a tradition, every time we see each other, my boyfriend got me flowers. I always feel like I'm the happiest girl in the world when I'm with him. We are at another popular place known for their baguettes. The baguettes here are definitely good, but not the best we've had. Next, we went to Le Palais to pick up an order from Cedric Goulet's patisserie shop. And then I got some coffee at Cafe Kitsne. I know these places are tourist traps, but they are so iconic. We were chilling at the park, sipping our coffee and eating desserts. Are you guys ready to be bedazzled by the beauty of these pastries? Are they desserts or are they works of art? Da, 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 da. Guys, it's gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, trời ơi. Quá xứng đáng. Ôi, xứng đáng đi. Con cho lại vào đây nha. Ờ, cho vào đấy đi. Ôi, thì thử thực sự. Wow. Wow. Mm. Mom and her friend's reaction when they saw the pastry were so wholesome. They literally spent 15 minutes just to take pictures of the cakes from different angles. My mom said it was so beautiful that she didn't want to eat it. Anyways, this cake is inspired by the Tonka bean, which I think is similar to vanilla bean but slightly different. This cake is definitely heaven for those who love citrusy desserts. It's filled with lemon custards and cream. And this one is my favorite out of the three. It's a combination of mango and passion fruits. I like how it has chunks of mangoes with passion fruit purees. I'm currently at Monet's Garden in Gibekni. Gi or G. Gibeni. It's so pretty here, but there's no water lilies. There are. There are? Where? Hmm. Not not as much as we expect, but let's explore. 
Giverny is one hour away from central Paris, and I highly recommend it. This place is so peaceful and dreamy. Walking here makes me feel like a fictional character. This is definitely a perfect date spot for art lovers. Even I, who are not a big fan of art, can still enjoy and appreciate the beauty of it. Like, look at these little flowers peeking through the sunlight. Sometimes I just want to go to a countryside and immerse myself into nature. Coming here with my partner is the most special part of the experience. It feels like an old couple who have been through so many things together. I want to dedicate this space to say how grateful I am to have him in my life. You know that feeling when you meet someone randomly in a short period of time, and they become the most important person in your life. To me, long distance relationship is the hardest, but it's also the most precious. It takes a lot of courage, understanding, and love to do long distance, but for the right person, it's always worth it. And with that, I'm gonna end this video. Thank you so much for listening to my yapping session, and see you guys soon.